In this video, we're going to compare the Tengyun V1 and the Tengyun V2. Let's begin. The Dian Tengyun version 1 is definitely a fairly fast and quiet cube. It also has a really cheap turning when you turn the cube. Comparing it to the Tengen V2, which is a really rich turning cube, you can definitely tell that it is way more richer plastic than the V1. And also, it is a slightly more quiet as well, I think. Comparing to the color shades, we can see that the Tengen V1 has a bit of a warmer green and the Tengen V2 has a bit of a colder green. They did not really change the color the color shades that much but you can tell by the very small difference you probably can't see it from the camera we can also see that the Tengen V1 has less customizability you cannot adjust the magnet strength or you cannot tension the springs with uh, the new system meanwhile the Tengen V2 has a spring customization and also it has a spring tensioning system so the Tengen V1 has a really strong corner cutting which means like it's really snappy and the Tengen V2 also is really snappy but not as much as the Tengen V1 however reverse corner cutting you can definitely tell that the Tengen V1 has a way better reverse corner cutting because it can do a lot of slice moves now let's take a look at the pieces for the edges you can definitely see that the Tengen V2 is more advanced than the Tengen V1 because there is more magnets and a customizable magnet system I think the reason that the Tengen V1 is lighter than the Tengen V2 is because there are holes right between the edges so it makes it more lighter and airier uh, you can definitely see that the design is really similar if you try and put one piece into another cube you can see that it does not fit that well you can see that as for the corners we can see that the Tengen V1 has more holes on the Tengen V2 which probably explains the lightness of the cube and then the pieces almost look identical you can see that these are identical and these are almost identical i think this one is more squared off than the Tengen V2 one and you can see that the Tengen V2 has this wave pattern on the cube corner and this does not have any patterns at all now let's move on to the performance the Tengen V1 when i'm performing solves it overshoots quite a bit because of its really fast nature and uh yeah the cube is way more quiet so i can focus way more on the, on the solves when i'm solving on the Tengen V1 and yeah i've been getting pretty good times but I get better times on the Tengen V2, it's because I've set it up over the years, so now it's really smooth and really buttery. I forgot what setup I put it in, but yeah, I get way better times on the Tengen V2 than the Tengen V1. But however, this is not my main, so uh, yeah, sorry. But yeah, that's all I can say, the two cubes are pretty nice. Uh, yeah, i getting like sub 15 or something averages for this and yeah, I really recommend the Tengen V1 for people who really want a quiet cube and want to do blind I guess uh, Actually both cubes are pretty nice, but uh, out of these two if you want to do blind I definitely recommend the V1 That's really it. I think the Tengen V2 kind of wins this competition But also I think I would recommend the V1 as well because this is really nice if you unbox it it is really quiet way quieter than the v2 but yeah uh this one is cheaper than this one this one out these two i'll put up the prices now they are pretty good i just know this one is more expensive but yeah also please let me know if you like these kind of videos because i haven't done it in a while since that one comparison video i've done like two to three years ago so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next time